Hi everyone! I did a video last month on your purpose and focusing on heaven, that all of this is temporary, and that we need to remember that and read our Bibles, pray, sing, and focus on the Lord, not on these temporary things. And several of you afterwards had conversations with me about, this was great, Al, but what do we do? And I'm like, read your Bible, pray, and they're like, no, what do we do? What is our purpose here on life that we're supposed to do? And after a bunch of dialogue and reading some books and researching more, I really wanted to do a follow-up video. I thought, thought that it was important enough because of so many of you wanting to do something. And it's great we have that passion that we want to do something, but I wanted to put it in context of what I believe the Bible says. So I'm going to cover five things today. So after the conversations, I read this book that I really enjoyed called Purpose Fooled, and it's a made-up name. It is a very good book about how the world has fooled us into we need a purpose. And I believe this, that, oh, I'm just a stay-at-home mom. That's the most important job in the whole world. And society has twisted it around where we need to go get a job in order to be equal to the man. And that's, I believe, when all of our society fell apart and not having the proper home and foundational values. But that's a whole different rabbit hole. But Kelly Needham in this book goes on the fact that we are purpose fooled, that it's made us feel like we have to be doing something. I work for here, or I do this, or I do... versus studying the Bible, praying, sometimes just being, sitting outside in nature and communing with the Lord. I think those things are made to feel that they are not important, that you are wasting your time, that it's mundane, that it's not productive. And I think those are some of the most productive things that we can do, is just being and making sure that we have the Lord at the center of everything. Some of the things that the Bible says, I'm going to break this out separately from the next one, that I really think we need to focus on are being thankful. I think it is so important to be thankful for so many things in our life. We all have many things. When I wake up in the morning, I give him thanks. I just look at so many things in my life and it fills me up with such gratitude. And I think that it's so important to give thanks. Rejoicing. I think that that will show in your spirit when you're grateful and when you rejoice in the Lord. It will resonate out of you. When we realize that everything comes from the Lord and we rejoice and we're giving thanks, that is what he wants, is to give him credit for everything he's done for us, all the amazing, wonderful miracles that he's performed in our lives. And I believe, like I said, it's going to show, it's going to radiate your happiness, your faith, your relying on the Lord, your contentment in everything that he's done for you. And then, in my last video, when I was talking about being in the Word, it's because that teaches us. Do you live by the Word? You either live by the world or live by the Word. And if you aren't in the Word, you aren't going to remember and know all of the things that you need to do. I read the Bible and I get something different out of it every time it makes me realize how far I have to go. I have so far to go. There is just so much in there of bearing fruit, of living in a certain right way, of being submissive to your husband, of forgiveness, of loving everyone, loving your neighbor. There is a million things that I need to learn. And I think that when you want to do something, that's what you need to do. Get into the Word and look in the mirror and say, do I love my neighbor as myself? 
Am I submissive to my husband? Am I doing all of these things that are laid out for me in the Word? That right there is a big list of things that I need to do. And when God desires that we bear fruit, that is showing the result of our salvation. That is a living testimony to other people. When they see that you could lose your job and you aren't worried, you have faith. When good things happen and you give him 100% credit, that shows people who you are. And that shows that it all comes from God. That is a living testimony to the salvation. The Bible talks constantly about showing the results of your salvation. And I believe that in order to do that, you need to have the same kind of passion and amazing transformation that you did when you first became a Christian, when you first discovered salvation and knew what the Lord had done and all our sins were forgiven. Think about how amazing that moment was and the way that we were all filled up with absolute awe, just overcome with his forgiveness, that he would love us and take care of us like that. And when you live with that passion in your heart on a daily basis, it resonates and it shows. Don't let that light flicker out. Have that faith and that passion for the Lord so you aren't afraid to let your light shine for the whole world to see. So God has given us each different gifts and I believe that I won't be drawn to something that isn't my forte. I don't think that I'm going to be drawn to something that isn't part of one of the gifts that God has given me. He's given each of us different gifts and we need to embrace those. And some of them might come more naturally or not, but you need to focus on where you feel drawn, that the Holy Spirit is calling you. And some of us maybe for bigger destined things like starting a missionary in Africa or something. Some of us might be actually doing equally worthwhile work here at home with your children or your grandchildren or having a neighbor that you can witness to. And it might start small where you have them over for dinner or pick them up groceries or whatever. And you will find opportunities to just even say, isn't this a beautiful day that the Lord made? Or all blessings come from Him and I'm so grateful. Or anything where you can work it in and suddenly it could open up a whole conversation. Or it might not, it might just plant a seed. And when you plant seeds, someone else might water them, and you never know what's going to take root. It's our job to be witnessing and sharing the gospel and representing the Lord. I believe that when you are close to the Lord, by reading the word and by praying, giving thanks, rejoicing, listening to music, you are going to be closer to him to know the Holy Spirit. It still is amazing to me. Some of the Old Testament people, Abraham, getting led off into the wilderness. He didn't know where he was going. He had faith. Getting Sarah, getting pregnant, so old. Faith. Yes, she did a few things wrong along the way, but don't we all? To have that kind of faith, to know that the Lord is going to use you and put you where you need to be, exactly when you need to be, and that he will instruct you, or maybe you don't even realize. Maybe as you are checking out at the grocery store and you give a little word of encouragement to that cashier, you don't know what that might do. I have a girlfriend who leaves little scripture cards every time she goes out somewhere and leaves a tip. She put, wraps the money around that scripture card. Who knows if that will ever take root? Who knows where that will land? You do what you can in the realm of what you've been given. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. I think that we all want to live for the Lord, and some may be bigger than others, but what you have to understand is the Lord will be using you. You may or may not understand exactly how. Just trust, have faith, and be open. I pray, Lord, please help me to know how you want to use me 
And Lord, please use me. I am here as your servant. Have you told the Lord that you want him to use you? I think that would be the first step, that you're open to it. And that can be very powerful. And you never know in what ways he's going to lead you. But just have faith, be open, and always be a representative of him and looking for opportunities. And they could be small, and those could be the most amazing, impactful ones. Don't think that it has to be something going to Africa as a missionary. Right where you are, in your home, a phone call you're having, an interaction with the mailman, you never know. Trust that the Lord will use you and just be open and ready to be used and know that you are living your purpose as long as you're in the Word and you're praying and you're trying to do what you believe the Lord wants you to do. That is doing and that is your purpose and being is very powerful. The Lord can use you and I hope that He does and blesses you all. Thank you so much for spending some of your time with me. I really appreciate it, and I hope you're having an amazing day. We'll talk to you next time.